Hi guys, today I am here to discuss about electric dipole in electric field. So before to start this session, I would like to say about dipole. What is this dipole? Dipole is nothing but to equal and opposite charge separated by a small distance. Means if it is minus cube and it is plus cube, then this combination is known as electric dipole. Generally, this distance is denoted by 2L. Okay, now dipole moment. Dipole moment is denoted by a term P. P is the product of either any one charge, means Q, into the distance between these two charges, that is 12. Now, this P is a vector quantity and it is directed from minus q to plus q okay now within this topic electric dipole in electric field we will learn about the torque experienced by this electric dipole within this electric field now this electric field may be a uniform electric field or a non-uniform electric field let's proceed with a uniform electric field so dipole in uniform electric field Now what about this uniform electric field? Uniform electric field means the field line will be parallel to each other. Suppose this, this is a uniform electric field, means this line will not be converging or diverging, it will be just parallel to each other. That means the electric field is constant at everywhere. Means if it is 300 Newton per coulomb, here also 300 Newton per coulomb, here also 300 Newton per coulomb. So this situation is uniform electric field. Now within this, we place one dipole. Let us assume this is minus Q and this one is plus q. Hence, one can easily say as it is minus q, an electric field is directed from this to this direction. Therefore, positive charge must, a big positive charge must be here and a negative charge must be along this direction. Hence, as a positive q charge will experience a force along this direction, F which is Q E as well as this minus Q charge also experience a force along this direction which is also Q into E. Now these two charge minus Q and plus Q for these two charge whatever force experience as a Q E along this direction and Q E along this direction for these two forces the net net force for the system will be zero because this two force is acting on the same object therefore there will be no translatory motion but there will be a rotational motion why because two equal force is acting at the two ends of a same object in opposite direction therefore there will be a rotational motion and for this rotational motion we will get some amount of torque therefore torque from class 11 we know torque equal to force into perpendicular distance between the two forces now what about the force you can consider any one of force q into e into perpendicular distance 
So let's find out the perpendicular distance. What will be the perpendicular distance? Okay, this force is acting along this direction means is is actually acting along this direction, whereas the another force is acting along this direction. So these two are the lines of force, and the perpendicular distance between these two is this. So if we just give a name A, B, C, then AC is the perpendicular distance. So let us assume the dipole moment. Dipole moment means minus q, 2 plus q means along this direction. This dipole moment makes an angle theta with this electric field. Now this line and this line are parallel. If this one is theta, then this must be theta. Now triangle A, B, C. If we consider this triangle within this, this one is the base because this is theta, this is base, this one is a hypotenuse and this one is a perpendicular. We want to find out this perpendicular. Then we have to apply sine theta. Therefore, sine theta equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse. Now, what about this perpendicular? Perpendicular is AC by hypotenuse is AB. Now, what about this AB? AB is nothing but the distance between the two charges. And I told you at first, we always consider this distance is 2L. Therefore, this AB, this AB is nothing but 2L. Therefore, AC by 2L sin theta. Therefore, AC equal to 2L of sin theta. Now, put these things. Therefore, Q E into AC means 2L of sin theta. Now, look at this please. 2QL E sin theta. Now, 2QL means what? I told you 2QL is nothing but this dipole moment. Therefore, 2QL we can write as P E of sin theta. Now, P E sin theta means A B sin theta. A B sin theta that is P cross E tau. This torque is denoted by a term tau, tau equal to P cos A. Now, this thing also you can write as a E cross P also. But remember, for this cross product, we consider the first term is uh, 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 that must be that quantity which we can change as dipole moment, the direction of dipole moment we can change. So that's why we take in P as a first. Okay. Now this thing also you can write tau equal to minus of E cross P also. There is no problem. Now what will be the direction of this torque? Direction of torque. We all know this direction of torque from this it must be perpendicular to the plane by P and E. Means if we consider P is along this direction and E is along this direction, suppose it is Y, then perpendicular to this means this one, means Z direction. will be the direction of tau. It looks a uh, slight tricky. Let me clear it easily. Tau equal to P cross E. P cross E means we just put our hand, right hand, like this way, in which the direction of P is this and E is this one. Now, put the thumb like this way and P cross E means our finger will move along this direction, which P to E. So, it moves in upward direction. Therefore, 
the direction of torque will be just perpendicular to the plane in upward direction whereas if electric field is in opposite direction p cross e means if it is like this it's opposite direction then the vector will be in downward direction means torque vector will be in downward direction okay now tau equal to p cross e this thing from this thing one can say about the maximum torque and minimum torque max torque if theta equal to 90 degree then sin 90 value is 1 therefore tau is pe of sin 90 degree that is p into e and here we'll get the maximum torque and minimum torque this mean torque if theta equal to 0 degree or 180 degree so the first case here means if the dipole is minus q is here and here is plus q and electric field is along this direction therefore dipole moment is along this direction electric field is this and angle is 90 degree will get the maximum torque and minimum torque if theta equal to 0 degree or 180 degree then for both the case tau will be 0 because sin 0 is 0 sin 180 is also 0 now in this case we will get the minimum torque value now for this case if electric field is along this direction it can be a plus q and this is minus q therefore dipole moment is along this direction electric field is along uh, along this direction so theta is 0 degree and we will get the minimum torque this situation is known as sterile equilibrium okay even if this electric field is along this direction and here is minus q and here is plus q therefore p vector is opposite to the electric field and theta equal to in this case 180 degree now in this case torque is also zero but this type of equilibrium is unstable equilibrium why this we will discuss this thing in next chapter okay now let's discuss about torque in non-uniform electric field means electric dipole in non-uniform electric field. Now in this case non-uniform field the field line are not parallel to each other it's like this it is converging or diverging now look at this for this type of case electric field if it is suppose 300 so here it will be 500 as the field line are very close to each other I mean the strength of electric field is much higher than this portion so for this if we place a dipole suppose here is minus q and here is plus q then what will happen sir then in this case suppose at this end electric field u1 and here electric field e2 therefore for this minus q charge force will experience q into e1 and here force will experience as q into e2 now q into e1 and q into e2 for this case we can say u1 is greater than e2 therefore q u1 must be greater than a q e2 now 
for this two force this system means this dipole also face a couple means it will try to rotate means it will experience a torque there is no problem but the another things is that this q e1 is greater than of q e2 hence this dipole will try to move like this means in simple way if it is dipole then it will try to move along this direction means it will rotate and it will move okay. and it will be stable whenever it will get a equal amount of electric field for both the ends okay that's all for this type of non uniform electric field if anyone want to know the force experienced by this electric dipole then the formula for this f will be p d e d r remember now force equal to p d e d r whereas this p symbols represent dipole moment and e is electric field r can be anything means if f x then it will be p d e d x like this y f y equal to p d e d y and f z is p d e d z now you may ask me the y side this force is p into d e d r now look at this equation p p means charge into distance e electric field r distance now charge into distance by distance this distance and this distance is cancel out now here remaining part is nothing but charge and here is electric field now charge into electric field is symbols force we all know this thing okay now let's proceed with some numerical problem for this dipole within a electric field means torque related problem so the first problem it can be suppose the dipole moment of a system minus q plus q is already given which makes an angle 30 degree with an electric field this value is 300 newton per coulomb and this dipole moment p is given suppose 10 to the power minus 2 coulomb meter now what would be torque torque equal to we know pe of sin theta therefore p is 10 to the power minus 2 e is 300 into sin theta means sin 30 degree sin 30 value you know and you just put it and you will get the answer very simple this type of problem you may get number 1 number 2 second type of problem you will you may get the second type of problem is a coordinated system coordinate means suppose minus q is given 0 0 minus 10 and plus q is 0 0 plus 10 okay and the charge is suppose given 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb this minus 10 and minus 10 this two are in centimeter this coordinate is given in centimeter one electric field is acting along x axis e is along x axis with 100 i can now what will be torque this type of problem we have to draw first so look at this coordinate x y z x y z so minus 10 plus 10 so both the charge is situated in z axis 
suppose this is x and this one is z and here is y okay so minus q means minus 10 here one charge and here is another charge so the distance means 2l is nothing but 20 centimeter is given therefore p equal to 10 to the power minus 6 into 20 into 10 to the power minus 2 okay now dipole moment coulomb meter and electric field is 100 theta angle is 90 degree because this angle is theta 90 degree now tau equal to p e sin theta you all know p e sin theta now here is the equation uh, means the data is already given this e is this one and theta is this one you just put it and you will get the answer this may be the second type of problem the third type of problem third type of problem now this third type of problem a coordinate system is given in which suppose a plus q charge here is minus 2 q charge and here one is plus q charges this is a this distance is also a now one electric field is acting with this in such a way that this angle is 15 degree now what will be the torque experienced by this system okay so for this type of problem at first we have to find out net dipole first look at this this one plus q this one is minus 2q and this one is plus q so minus 2q you can break as minus q and minus q so minus q to plus q one dipole moment suppose p and another minus q to plus q another dipole moment is p now by these two we have to draw one parallelogram and the resultant will give by this and this angle must be 45 degree why 45 degree because these two are equal if this one is p and this one is also p so this angle will be 45 degree there is no problem so net dipole moment how to find out that very simple case sir p equal to square root of p1 square plus p2 square suppose pr p1 square plus p2 square plus 2 p1 p2 of cos 90 degree now p1 square means p this one is also p cos 90 is 0 so no need to write therefore root 2 p okay now angle this is the resultant vector and electric field is suppose 100 newton per coulomb okay therefore torque tau equal to p e of cos theta means root 2 p e means 100 into cos mm, cos angle what about this angle this two angle between these two Forty five degree fifteen thirty degree cos okay. so like this way you can find out the magnitude of this torque. Now if you want to find out the direction of this torque then there will be a minus sign y because this P and here is E. P cross E means this angle you should consider. That's all. Number four. This type of problem also you may get two dipole minus q plus q means one dipole moment is along this direction 
and another is like this minus q plus q this angle is 120 degree you have to find out net resultant dipole moment so of course the same thing like the first case p1 square plus p2 square plus 2p1 p2 of course 180 uh, 120 degree you can find out these things okay now again if the electric field is along this direction then what will be the resultant value of these things in stock that thing also you can find out so i hope uh, more or less this type of problem you may get from this that's all for today uh, next class we will proceed with electric potential thank you and if you face any problem then please give a comment as well as uh, please share some question I mean to say I will uh, supply some questions based on this we will solve it and if you face any problem then I will solve it out thank you have a great day